So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week of what all the vendors are selling. We're going to start off with Zerd just because he is the newest thing so far, because 801 is usually the one we look at first, but I decided to switch it up because 801, we already look at her stuff in the challenges video. So it kind of doesn't make sense for me to start with Ada since Zer is the newest thing. So we're going to start with Zer. For Zer, he's going to be selling the Season of Dawn armor, which is pretty cool. I actually really do like this armor. That being said, I do have to go and look at the Titans and Warlocks because I don't remember it off the top of my head. Um, <clears throat> And I also have to kind of say I like it. But at the same time, it's really unfortunate that that era of armor, specifically the ornaments and the non ornaments was basically a stripped down version of the ornament look. So this is going to be a lesser version of the actual ornaments from the season pass, unfortunately, because you definitely want to get the the ornaments because they're way better. But for the hunters, I think the helmet is pretty usable. I think the arms are OK. I think the chest piece is pretty usable. Boots are usable as well. And the cloak is also pretty cool as well. Titans, I think the helmet is usable. I think the arms are OK. Chest piece. I don't remember if this gives you a bulky look. All right, so it does give you a bulky look. I definitely would recommend the chest piece. And then for the boots, I really don't like the boots. Even the ornamental boots, I'm not the biggest fan of. It's just like the actual feet themselves don't look like they're like they look like they're attached to everything, all the armor. So that's why I'm like, it looks weird. And then I think the mark is actually really cool. Warlocks, I actually love the, the helmet. The helmet is really, really good. And I use it in a few sets. The arms are boring. The chest piece, unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of. The boots are pretty cool. And then the bond is very boring, but it's also like plain enough where you can combine it with a lot of other things. So it's not that bad, <clears throat> but that is pretty much it for the armor. I definitely would recommend some of these pieces. If you have enough for all of them, just get it just because you might never know when a lot of these pieces are usable. But for the weapons, it's going to be dire promise with triple tap and osmosis. Tears of Contrition with Compulsive Reloader and Focus Fury. Brass Attacks. Oh wait, hold on. Brass Attacks with Threat Detector and Dragonfly. We have Tripwire Canary with Rapid Hit and Frenzy. We have Iota Draconis with Surplus and Harmony. Sail Spy Pitch Glass with Compulsive Reload and Ro Reloader and Vault Shot. <clears throat> and then Shattered Cipher. Cipher. So if you are wondering which one is which one of these are the red border weapons then it's going to be the tears of contrition tripwire canary and then sales by pitch glass those are going to be the ones <clears throat> as for the exotics it's going to be hawkmoon with hipfire grip and then suros regime which is pretty good um especially since you can actually customize what rpm you want to do it on which is pretty cool we have six coyote with some decent, decent rolls. I mean, like it's not the best granted. It's super not the best, but I definitely would recommend it just because six coyote that second dodge comes in. So, so clutch that I definitely would recommend it. We have acting roar rig with pretty high recovery. 11 resilience is fine. <clears throat> this is this, it, it's not the best, but it's very passable in my opinion. And then controversy hold with Jesus Christ, um, some pretty good rolls. Um, I actually might pick this up for my warlock. I don't remember the the controversy hold that I currently have on my warlock. That's pretty good though. Let's see what I actually end up getting. <clears throat> Graviton forfeit. Well, I can't look at it, so give me one second. 24 resilience oh man <clears throat> like i kind of want to pick this up just because with graviton you really don't need recovery especially if you're doing a graviton build just because um when you go invisible with graviton you actually get increased uh, recovery and most of the time you're going to be hitting 10 when you're invisible so while you're invisible you're going to be healing a lot more my only gripe about that play style is the fact that like I tend to use my dodge a lot as a oh shit button, like an escape. And most of the time I'm like super close to dying. And unfortunately, even after you're invisible for like two seconds or whatever, uh, enemies still know where you are. So they'll still shoot you. And most of the time I'll die because uh, 
the invisible the invisibility that we have is uh pretty trash because not only do, do the enemies actually know where you're at at full like all the time but <clears throat> yeah it's just really annoying that they just keep shooting you as for 801 she is selling the valkyrie zero which is a pretty cool shader i actually switched my armor around so that way you guys can actually notice it so a lot of the pieces that i'm using is going to be taking the off color of valkyrie zero which is the black but as you guys can see all of it looks really good aside, aside from the cloak it's actually that's the orange that you're going to notice but again that's an easy fix just go switch the shader for the cloak and then you'll have an all black red hunter or titan or warlock and I honestly think this is probably one of the best black and red shaders. It's just the fact that you have to like really lean into the black and red and make sure you're finding pieces that go well with the shader. We have Kyro's bronze. <clears throat> Man, dude, I, I promise you, if it wasn't for the blue, I would actually love this shader quite a lot. And then New Monarchy Diamonds, which this shader I love to death. It's one of my favorite shaders in the game just because it's the Iron Man shader. Not so much, just because the gold is a little bit more on the yellow side, but still really good shader nonetheless. And then for the armor, I don't even have to look at at the like armor because I already know how everyone's look because I like this armor a lot for the Titans. Hunters, I think the helmet is pretty good. I think the chest piece is really good if you were going for a tactical look. And then that's pretty much it. The arms, I'm not the biggest fan of. And the boots, I don't like the fact that the cloth on the ankles don't change color. And I think the cloak is pretty boring. Titans, everything but the mark is really good. I definitely think you guys should pick it up. Uh, actually, I skipped that or I scratched that. I think everything but the mark and the chest piece are really good. Uh, unfortunately, the chest piece is just too small for my liking. I like a chest piece that is way more bulkier, especially in the back, because you got Titans look way more foreboding and terrifying when their chest piece is like super big. And then Warlocks, I think everything but the the bond and the arms are pretty good specifically the chest piece i think is the best piece i think the helmet is pretty good as well and then the boots are really good for a tactical look so that is pretty much for ada let me know what you guys are going to be picking up as for eververse um be real i don't remember what she was selling i think i bought oh that's right solar shrapnel this is a shader from a shader bundle so you definitely should pick this up if you like the shader if you don't i can definitely see people skipping out on this one because it's not that great transcendental ambition <clears throat> which yeah once you get it to the light it actually does change color but at the same time i don't really care for that so I, i'm like i had it already but i no i'd still get it because you might never know when it looks cool on a certain armor set champion entrance we have all-terrain explorer <clears throat> I'm gonna be real. I wish the wheel moved when uh, this was on because that would have been funny. We have T ball and stuff at the bottom. We have, oh, that's right. End of an era for the last word. I mean, like, I, I would, I, like, I, it looks cool. Let me just get that out the way. Like, it does look cool, but like, I don't use last word like that, like, I, at all. So. For me, I'm like, I want it just because it looks cool. And for like the one time that I use it in PvP when I get mad and I switch to it because someone else is using it, but I don't even do that now. So I don't know. Uh, externalization, which <clears throat> looks cool. Yeah. Um, Pronghorn. Yeah. Uh, Saturnid Shell. I didn't even realize that the, the little thing moved. Well, at least everything changed. Ooh, that one looks pretty good. Uh, hold that pose, which is a T pose one. We have Wicked Taunt. Terrible. And for the shaders at the bottom, Heat Shielded, which, damn, it actually looks really cool with this one. Um, wow. We have Carbon Blood, which is a pretty good red and black shader just because the black is matte and then the red is really like sheen like polished almost which is really cool and then vibrant medusa which is not my favorite green and then we have amethyst veil vale, which <sighs> it looks so like this is what i'm talking about this is when when you lean into the black it looks amazing especially with these boots this is a hunter thing but 
these boots have this silver that doesn't change color so when you have this silver like like i think this set looks absolutely good it's such a banger and you can definitely switch to like the exotic for something else and this this looks really cool like again amethyst veil it's such a dope shader you definitely should pick it up so that is pretty much it uh i apologize that i didn't have that much content this week i have just been working on my second channel just because uh i've been playing other content specifically like i've been playing armored core um starfield remnant 2 like there's just so many things that i've been playing because i kind of been burnt out from destiny 2 um just because <clears throat> i love i love destiny 2 fashion but there there gets to a point where it's just like it gets becomes monotonous which is why i want to try other content as well and not only destiny 2 but i want to try like other fashion related content specifically like other games like final fantasy 14. i've been saying for a while that i've been working on stuff and i have technically because i do a lot of fashion for that game as well but it's a lot harder because i'm not a veteran in that game which means that i don't have all of the armor in the game which means that it's harder to make sets when i don't have enough armor granted the the fashion in that game it, i think for, personally for me is way superior to destiny 2's just because um and i should make a video on this because it it is pretty wild how in-depth that it is i will say the only thing that i like about destiny 2's more than De than uh, final fantasy 14's is the fact that the shadering system i think is way better that is probably going to change um next expansion because they are adding the ability for us to change a secondary armor piece so specifically like as an example let's take this chest piece for example um let me give you a good shader okay <clears throat> so in final fantasy 14 it kind of works the same as destiny 2 where you can change the color of whatever you want granted a lot of the pieces in, in final fantasy 14 does not change color like secondary stuff but now in, at, when we get to the second expansion or the next expansion we will have the option to change the secondary color. I'm hoping that we can change a lot of the coloring so that way we can choose better, but it is a step forward. And to be honest, it, I will make a video explaining my thought process on it because Final Fantasy 14's fashion is just so good. It's so good. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.